Hello and welcome to the Wellie Bloke channel. Today I'll show you how to calibrate the Betaflight voltage monitor so you get the correct battery voltage on the OSD in your goggles. When I reviewed this awesome 6S 3 inch HDLRC Arrow 3 recently, the voltage display on the OSD wasn't right and it needed a tweak. And it's important to get this correctly calibrated because it's used to trigger the Betaflight on screen warnings and it tells you what the real voltage is. It's peace of mind, really. And the alarms are vital if you're not using telemetry, so it's really worth doing. And I've generally found the default settings for this in Betaflight are pretty good, but it's always worth checking before your first flight because each board is different. And it's really quick and easy to do. All you're gonna need is your quad without the props, a couple of batteries, and a multimeter. So connect your quad to Betaflight and plug the battery in. I've just got a charged up battery here. And of course you need the props off. And just give this a few seconds to settle down after it's booted. And we need to measure what the voltage is of this battery, which is easy enough. You can just do it across the balance leads. Okay, so we've got 16.74 volts. You just need to remember that. Okay. So if you go into your Betaflight configurator and go to the power and battery page, and if you look in the power state panel over here, it says the voltage is 19 volts, which is clearly wrong. We had 16.7 when we measured it on the battery, and it thinks there's five cells just because this value is wrong. And this voltage value is the one that will be displayed on your OSD. To adjust this, you need to tweak the settings in the voltage meter panel. And there's three settings here that are used in Betaflight code to calculate the voltage that's displayed up there. You've got scale, divider value, and multiplier. These all affect what the displayed voltage is and I'll leave a calculation in the description below. But for our purposes, you can think of these as fine, medium, and coarse adjustments. Scale is the fine adjustment, so we'll just need to tweak that, and generally that's all you need to change. So all you need to do is to wind this up or down until the displayed voltage here matches what you actually measured, in our case 16.7. So we just wind that down a bit, let's take it to 104, and hit save, and you can see this has now gone down, down to 17.9. You do need to give this a bit of time to settle, so we'll just keep cranking this down, let's go down to 98, hit save, so 16.9, we're getting closer, 16.7 is what we're aiming for, let's go down one more. 16.7 let's just because this is only displaying one decimal place you may need to tweak this 16.5 so that's no good 16.7 there now you can see for example if I crank this which is the course adjustment up to 2 and hit save this goes off the scale so that's it if you want to check it, uh, you could try plugging in another battery, maybe a fully charged one or a used one, and see if this value is correct. And remember this value here, 16.7, is the one that will be displayed on your OSD in here when you select main battery voltage. It's that value down there. Pretty simple really, and it is worth doing. Thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. 
and if it's your first visit then please consider subscribing to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.